So you wanna increase your deadlift, but you have absolutely no idea where to start. Worry not, my friend. I have three tips for you today that are going to take you from a puny, pathetic deadlifter to threatening for the world record. Okay, we may not be threatening for the world record, but these three tips are going to take your deadlift to new heights and impress everybody in the gym. Tip number one is going to offend a lot of you purists out there, but my first tip to increase your deadlift is to train the opposite style of deadlift. Yes, you heard that right. If you are a conventional deadlifter and you've been told your whole life that sumo is cheating, I'm here to tell you that if you do some sumo deadlifting, you will have direct carryover to the conventional deadlift. The sumo deadlift trains different musculature that is also incredibly beneficial to be trained in the conventional deadlift and vice versa. So if you're a sumo deadlifter and you've never touched the conventional deadlift because you're afraid it's gonna hurt your back, get over yourself, train in the conventional deadlift for a block of training and notice how much better you will be when you get back to your primary lift. I have trained both conventional and sumo deadlift for a long period of my training career. And every time I return back to my primary deadlift, I feel better in the movement. It could be that the movement feels more fresh. That's definitely possible. It could also be that the movement patterns have had some carryover to the other style of deadlift. At the end of the day, the lifts are different, yes, but you are just picking up weight off of the ground in some capacity. Your hips, your hamstrings, your low back are all a part of each of the deadlift. If you can find a way to train either one, you're going to get carryover to the other. You may feel like you're cheating if you switch from conventional to sumo, or you may feel like your back is gonna break if you switch from sumo to conventional. But if your goal is to pick up the most amount of weight in your preferred deadlifting style, I promise you, training in the opposite style will help you when you get back to your primary deadlift. It's just a fact. Tip number two also goes against a lot of conventional strength training wisdom, and that is to increase your deadlift frequency. Oh, Jonah, you can't deadlift more than once a week. It's gonna hurt you. Your, the recovery cost is too much. Maybe, maybe for some people, but this is not doctrine. This is not law. I don't know where we got into our heads that you could only train the deadlift once a week or your body was gonna explode and you were never gonna be able to lift again. It is possible to train the deadlift more than once a week. I think a lot of people go wrong because they think that when you train the deadlift, Every session has to be balls to the wall, blood coming out of your eyes. It's a deadlift after all. We're getting hard, we're getting strong. Maybe if you brought down some intensity on a secondary deadlift day, you could work a little bit more on technique, you could increase the volume a little bit more, but nobody wants to train in a low intensity deadlift environment. Instead of going 90% of your one rep max for three triples, maybe you do that on your primary day and on your secondary deadlift day, you work the movement pattern in a little bit of a different way. So you may use a snatch grip deadlift. You may use a Romanian deadlift. You may do the same deadlift pattern at a lower intensity with more of a tempo and technique focus. This is still training the deadlift two times a week, but it's not putting you in the same context of intensity both of those training sessions. Frequency is also incredibly important when you are new to a movement pattern. So if you've just started deadlifting, it could be beneficial for you to try and deadlift more than once a week. Do not fall under the idea that just because some strength coach on some website told you that you could only train it once, that you individually can only train the deadlift once. Give it a shot. At the end of a training block, it could be that you cannot train it more than one time. The recovery cost is just too much, but you'll never know unless you try it. It's not gonna kill you. Do it for six weeks and then make a decision. My final tip is a little bit more cerebral. It's a little bit more in your head, okay? But I think a lot of people approach the deadlift with fear with trepidation because there have been so many instances online or in anecdotal evidence that the deadlift is inherently dangerous, which is just not the case. The deadlift is an incredibly powerful tool to strengthen the posterior chain. But if you are a power lifter or you're going for a one rep max in the deadlift, there is going to be some fear because the weight and the way that you're lifting it is going to feel a little bit uncomfortable, even if it's just in your head. We've been conditioned all our lives not to lift with our back. Lift with your knees. You'll hurt yourself if you lift with your back, if you lift too heavy. If you have trained the deadlift intelligently and you have peaked yourself to a competition or to a one rep max test, go into the deadlift with confidence. Find yourself 
feeling aggressive, feeling ready to do what needs to be done to achieve your goal of a new one rep max or getting a competition PR. Do not approach the deadlift with fear because if you do, you will not be able to move the weight. This is coming straight from personal experience. All of the times that I have hit new PRs on the deadlift, I have approached the weight with earned confidence. I have trained it well, I have rested well, I am ready to hit a new PR. Earned confidence is important. You don't just go in and try a one rep max every single week. But if you go in with confidence because you know you've trained well, then you can approach the deadlift with some aggression. Fight for it. Get the lift. Accomplish something. You don't have to be afraid of this lift. Those are my three favorite tips. If you implement even one of them, I promise you your deadlift is going to improve. If you've got any tips for me, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I'd love to hear how you have gotten your deadlift better. If for some reason you wanna learn how to squat better, you can click on this video right here, but we all know that you're here for deadlifting. So I'll just leave this video here. If the spirit moves you, go ahead and click on it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all the likes and the comments and the subscribers. You guys make this channel so much fun to do. I will see you in the next video. Get strong and stay strong.